It's, in fact, I, I heard you meant talking about Squirrel uh, over the weekend. A caller to your tech yeah. guy show uh, asked about it. And I just wanted, so I'll just, you know, you and I will go back through this. I will soon be demonstrating it. He wanted, um, as, as, as many have, to understand how, how it would look, how it would work from an end user's uh, perspective. Yeah. And, I ha and I have to say, I'm still a little bit unclear about it, too. I hope I didn't get it wrong. No, it's um, the one thing that's neat is that you need no browser extensions or plugins. Um, so you just run the Squirrel client once on your desktop, and that registers it to receive any any SQRL URLs, and then every browser you have automatically works. So you and you don't need a smartphone. You don't need a QR code. You but you 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 can just click on the QR code which the website presents in case you wanted to use a smartphone. But if you're on a desktop, you just click on the QR code and you're logged in. Up pops a little dialog from the client that makes that to that that makes that uh, is there to make sure you know you're you and not one of your kids or 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 somebody you know. Uh, well, there's this new term that I hate. It's, it's a it's called the evil maid attack. In fact, you know the whole the whole problem with with um, uh, Thunderstrike uh, and Thunderbolt on the Apple is that they've designated this an evil maid attack, meaning that it's an attack that an evil house cleaner <laughs> could could accomplish. It's like, oh, do we really have to call it the evil maid? <laughs> But I think I, it's tongue in cheek, but I, but you know, that's, I, yeah. No, it's like so. It's I did the misstate term. it a little bit. So I, what I didn't understand is, so if you run the app on your uh, computer, it registers. Is it SQRL colon slash slash? Yeah. It yeah. registers a protocol for Squirrel. I think that's not commonly known. Is that there are many different protocols besides HTTP colon back slash. The, the, the famous one is mail to, you right. know, you mail can have to. a mail right. to link and that launches your email client with like oftentimes the subject and the, and, and the to and from and so forth filled in. So if you have this, you download an app, you run it. it I presume it, it generates kind of a unique uh, you, you user ID for you. Right? Is that what it yeah, does? And then exactly. it registers the the, uh, the protocol, the SQRL protocol. You have to keep the app on there, or can you at that point delete the app? No, the app is there to... I think on most to, operating systems you have to, because it has to run when you... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and so it, it sits in the tray uh, as a little icon, and if it, and you so you create an identity the first time you run it, and what's... I mean, and, and the... It, it's, it's sort of the thing where you have to see it to believe it. I, I mean, the demo has been running. I have it down at the moment while I'm rewriting a chunk of code. But, but users in our news group have been playing with it for about a, maybe about a week and a half. And one person wrote, he said, you know, Steve, I knew what this was. I knew what it was going to be. But it's, it takes my breath away to imagine that something this simple is also secure because that identity you create can potentially be the only identity you ever need for the rest of your life. And it just allows you to log in. So, uh, and of course, you know, you're right that the question is, will this get adopted? Uh, there was a great blog uh, posting that came to my attention yesterday that'll go public on Thursday where people are beginning to look at this and and get it and so you know i you know my position was with this concept i just had to give it a chance i have no horse in the race i'm not making any money you know as as, as you as you as you did say yesterday um to, uh, to that caller i just i just couldn't have this and not give it a chance i mean it blows fido away the guy who designed fido said squirrel blows it away so we'll see, you know, uh, uh, anyway, it, just, it, it requires, and, and this is what I said, it requires, unfortunately, companies with their own stake in all of this, unlike you, to adopt it. I mean, if Google and, and Yahoo and Facebook don't adopt it and they all have their own kind of, well, not Yahoo, yep. but Google and Facebook have their own, you know, authentication stuff they want to do, th then it makes it hard for it to succeed. But I guess a ton of independent websites could adopt it. There's no reason. I've already already got queries coming from independent websites yeah. we've got we've got a group who have a have have, have a full uh, drupal 
a drop-in library so that any Drupal site can just add this side by side. The idea is that it doesn't replace username and password. It just sits next to it. And, and so there are my, the way I have felt this would happen is that there are so many sites where they would like you to create an account, but they're just not worth it to the user. How many times have we looked at like, you know, seen somebody's blog posting and gone to reply and it wants you to create an account. It's like you, you email address and all, and all that. And you just think, no, I've got too many accounts. I don't want to have to come up with another password and username and blah, blah, blah. So that kind of site or all of those kinds of sites like WordPress um, could simply make Squirrel be an option. And what you happens go, oh. if I've, I've done that with that site and then I want to go to it on mobile? How does that get solved? Um, the identity is transportable. So, for example, on my client, you can display your identity as a QR code and then snap it with either the Android or the iOS client. And that transfers your, your one identity onto your mobile device or devices. And then... then um, and that so that same identity can then be used to log in there, and so so I mean it's it is multi-platform and and universal. You'd have to have that Squirrel client on your mobile device, or no? What Correct. Is, what is the mechanism on mobile? Because I don't think you have do you have that protocol mechanism on mobile? Yeah, it's you all do. there. So if you, uh, and, if you go to a site that you've previously registered a Squirrel ID with. This, you go there, you see the QR code that says use Squirrel, you tap that, and then it will launch the program and it will go back to the Squirrel. The th and that works on iOS? So, so yes. And, but there's two ways on a mobile. So if you're, so if you're, the, 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 the term I have is same device login or cross device login. So say that you're at a hostile kiosk or like, you know, you're at a, at a hotel, uh, you know, executive lounge where they make some PCs available and you want to log in to your Southwest Airlines account. Well, the last thing you want to do is put your credentials into this, a, this, you know, alien PC that you have no control over. So if Southwest adopted Squirrel, then the, their law, the Southwest login would simply have a little QR code next to it. So you would use your, your phone with the Squirrel app to snap that QR code. And with doing nothing else, you are logged in on that PC without entering any credentials. It, the page changes and it says, oh, hi, Steve. Hi, Leo. Um, and, and, you know, what, what do you want to do? So... So your phone uses the the QR code to identify the 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 page that you're looking at on the computer where you are and then it transacts with the website to to assert and verify your identity and then the website says okay we now know who is looking at that login page for Southwest and you're logged in so, I mean, anyway, it's sort of the, you have to sort of see it to believe it. It's like, holy crap. And it's, you know, the crypto is solid. So anyway, I, we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll, you and I will do a demo. We'll go through this in a couple of weeks.